we have three uh, flow groups. So we have order syncs, which includes the cancellations. We have our fulfillment, uh, which outbound deliveries on the by design side in our inventory section, uh, along with settings. Um, so starting from the general, we have a location map, um, which is used for both the fulfillment and the inventory sync. Uh, so this will give you your a uh, list of um, a SAP Business by Design locations and which locations you want to map those to on the Shopify side. Uh, so I'm just going to go quickly map a couple of these. Um, on the order section, we are allowing for a default customer uh, to be used for if a customer is not found through the integration. Uh, so by default, we will search for a customer based off the email address um, and it will pull the first customer that is found with that email address. Uh, if um, that customer is not found and a default customer is set here, it will use that customer. Uh, you also have the option to use uh, the default customer for all orders. Then uh, we also have a filter for which orders we allow to actually sync through the integration based off the status within um, Shopify. Uh, and then we have a sales unit that needs to be set. So uh, this will list out the different sales units that are within the account. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select the one I'm going to use here. Uh, this will uh, cause the order to be created under that sales unit. And then for taxes, we can either have the total taxes that are set in Shopify added as a single service item on the sales order or just allow the business by design to uh, cal uh, calculate that themselves. So I'm gonna start with the total taxes single line and then also select a service item from my account that I want that to be set as. And then final thing we hear is our payment mappings. So what we would do here is um, specify which bank account um, we want these different uh, payment gateways to go to and uh, you know, map those out accordingly. I, I just created this one this morning. Um, I have uh, two products on here um, with a, a custom discount. Um, some taxes are being calculated and shipping costs. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I click in this flow and I'll, I'll run this. And through our process, we start by actually looking for an order inside of SAP Business by Design. If one is found that matches, it will be ignored through the rest of the sync. We do a uh, lookout for um, existing uh, customer uh, based off the email address. Uh, this will be ignored if we go off of just purely the use a default customer for all transactions. Uh, we will go ahead and import the sales order into uh, Business by Design. This does include um, setting uh, all the line items. If that configuration was for the, the tax line, we'll add that. We do set the, the shipping as well and discount on the order. There is a lookup for that sales order to see if there's a variance between Shopify and SAP uh, Business by Design. And our final step here is we will go in and actually update this order to uh, put the external payment if it was paid on on the Shopify side, we'll set the variance into a custom field um, and then also release the order as well. So um, should see the, the amounts match, the 3133, uh, along with the, the shipping on there. Um, and then for our items, we'll see that there should be three items on here, those two products plus that software line um, that, that were included. Uh, there are um, a ETEL ID on the, the line items um, here, along with at the order level. Um, and then also for our pricing, we'd be able to see uh, the discounts that are coming across as well um, and the freight charges.